a, a gunship needs lots of guns, so um, I can't quite remember <laughs> off the top of my head the the sizings of these. Um, but the the exterior of the Redeemer has pretty much been entirely reworked, but keeping it in the same style as it was. We were on the fence about, do we just move it to a different manufacturer because it looks so different to Aegis? Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, we decided to keep it Aegis. We'll keep the nutcracker wings, but we'll just do a little massaging of all the shapes here to bring it more into the Aegis style. So the nose has changed, um, the turret design has changed, the tail has changed. It's not quite as rounded as it was. Uh, there's some, some harsher Aegis lines in there. Uh, Still got the wheels on the bottom. We we toyed around with skids, but we'll, we'll we'll keep it to the original concept. You can see here, there's there's a lot more Aegis. Right, shapes right. I'm trying to do my best Paul Jones uh, <laughs> impersonation. Um, I think the tail's slightly changed as well. Um, so it has a manned turret on the top, manned turret on the bottom that are entirely accessible from within the ship. You don't need to go on a little ghost train ride out into outer space to get to the turrets anymore. Um, still has the ramp on the back. Uh, and so it's not uh, a drastic re-envisioning. No, just, no, just... It's, it's, it's still the Redeemer that people, you would still look at this and go, this is the Redeemer. It's not a complete reimagining of it. We tried to keep it faithful to the original uh, concept, but just bring it up to modern standards. Um, I don't have any of the interiors here to show, but that is, that's had much more of a upgrade from uh, what was there Uh the, the drop seats are gone. They've been replaced with space to sort of walk around the ship. Uh, if people have got into the one in the hangar still. They'll know it's it's quite compact to move around in there. So we've uh, enlarged it, um, got access to components, you've got access to all the turrets. You can freely move around without it being cavernous. Hmm. But yeah, you can see there's a, there's a lot of turrets. There's two at the front. One of those is pilot control. There's the manned one behind it. There's a manned one on top. Uh, there's the one on the tail as well. So yeah, this is really designed for, for hovering around. These nutcrackers will rotate for VTOL. Uh, so you can really go full AC-130 style and engage in ground combat. Nice. Uh, and uh, th this, is, this, is still the, this is still the concept mesh we're looking at. This, this isn't yep, this... being actively built in engine right now. This isn't being actively worked on by the vehicle team right now. This is the, the pre-production uh, concept for us. Just like any other ship, um, we, we for, for ones that have been previously available and are going to go back into production, we, we treat them as a new ship. We take them through the entire concept pipeline um, to just vet that everything is there that it needs to be there before artists put pen to paper. Okay. Well... Um, that's that's enough of your surprise treats. All right. Well, thank